Hi everyone, so in this video I'm showing you a bit of a different set. Uh, it was a picture that my client brought in. Uh, the initial design is done by Sophie Garbutt. Uh, but I've twisted it a little bit, changed it up a little bit. So I've done all my natural nail prep work. I've applied my um, CJP crystal tips and cut and filed them to size. Applied my CJP acid primer and now just coming in with a base of crystal glass using my big boy brush. So I've got a nice smooth base to apply my acrylic onto. So on this nail, I'm starting off with birthday suit at the cuticle area, pushing it up into that cuticle and getting my brush behind so it's nice and flush. And then just pulling the top of that bead up the nail slightly and then just cleaning the edge up because um, I want it to be a glass style nail. Just keep smoothing that out like I always do. And then dip into my crystal glass, only a really tiny bead. And then into um, this glitter is called Bonbon from the Glitter Planet. Uh, and if you go to their website, you can use my discount code Pilgrim10 to get 10% off your order. Now I've got some stunning glitters and all different nail products and things like that. And then when I'm happy with that glitter placement, I will cap in crystal glass, picking up quite a large bead, placing it at the cuticle area, tilting my client's finger down so gravity naturally takes that product away from the cuticle. Get it nice and flush in your cuticle area and then walk that bead down the nail with the belly of your brush. Just checking your apex as you're doing it. Obviously these nails are slightly longer than um, normal. So you need quite a strong apex, so make sure you are checking that. Uh, and please excuse the state of my nails. I just haven't had a chance to do them yet. So this nail is an ombre nail, so I'm applying CJP coconut milk at the tip, just getting it nice and even and then turning my brush round and fading that down towards the cuticle area while it's still quite wet. You want that nice fade, you don't want any harsh line. If when you turn your brush around and you go to pull the white down, if it's not really moving or you're really having to pull it, then I'd take the whole bead off and start again. You need it to move and pull down the nail and get that nice fade so there's no harsh line. So then I'll come in with a bead of birthday suit just where my Y ends. Pat out to one side and pull up and then pat out to the other side and fade up. And as you can see, I'm just fading the top of that bead and making sure the back of the bead is blended in with the natural nail. And then come in and apply my cuticle bead, pushing it up into the cuticle area so it's nice and flush. And then just again fading the top of that bead up into your previous application. And then I'll cap once I'm happy. So this nail is a full nail of the bonbon glitter. Um, I quite like how this glitter doesn't have loads of tiny bits so it adds that effect to the nail where you can see through little bits of it. I really liked that. So and it's, it can be quite a difficult one to work with so I tend to work in smaller beads. Only pick up a tiny bead of crystal glass um, and then just use the tip of your brush 
to move that glitter where you want it to go. This nail is a full nail of Baby Blue, again from CJP. So I'm just getting it nice and flush in the cuticle area and pulling that bead down. I, mean, I didn't pick up a big enough bead to do one bead, so I just pull it as far as I can and then apply another bead at the tip and blend that back. So this nail is a smile line nail, so pick up quite a large bead of birthday suit, pull both sides of that bead down to create that nice deep smile line. Blend the back of that bead in with your natural nail so there's no shadowing when you come to apply your cuticle bead. And then just use my brush to neaten up that smile line. So you're wanting to make sure that your wall goes all the way around from side wall to side wall. When you look down the barrel of the nail, you also want that wall to be a nice even thickness all the way around. So you've got something to butt your colour up to. Then when I'm, once I'm happy with that shape, I'll apply my cuticle bead.
And once that's set, I'll come in with my nail file, I'm holding it dead flat against that smile line at a 90 degree angle, going all the way around and making sure you get into those very corners. This will keep your smile line nice and crisp. And remove all your dust. And then I'll come in with CJP coconut milk. It doesn't matter if it goes over the smile line. Uh, if you've made it nice and crisp, this will all file off at the end. So onto my filing technique, starting off at those side walls, making sure they're nice and crisp, making sure they come out straight, refining that free edge, and then coming round and contouring my first side wall, round the cuticle area. Oh, I didn't do that in this nail. I think I just wanted to thin out that tip a little bit because it was a little bit thick where I had, uh, had a bit of a build up of clear. But yeah, then I would go round my cuticle area, and then up the other side wall. And then I'll come down the barrel of the nail. Again, always checking that the nail is nice and smooth and even, all the products nice and balanced. And then once I'm happy, I'll run over with my white blot buffer just to remove any scratches. So then remove all the dust and wipe over the nails with acetone and apply top coat, my CJP Tech Free Top Gloss. Uh, and when I've done a glass nail, I do apply um, the top coat underneath just to make that really stand out, that glassy effect. Uh, and then once I've done all that, I will then cure in my LED lamp for 60 seconds.
then here's your finished look thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it